discuss care to be taken after birth by women with gestational diabetes that is diabetes acquired during pregnancy after giving birth to a baby blood sugar levels should be regularly tested medical follow up is very important and regular for all women with gestational diabetes in some women the blood sugar levels return to normal and do not require subsequent treatment in 2 to 3% of patients with gestational diabetes diabetes continues even after delivery requiring treatment gestational diabetes is an early warning sign that can be used by these women to their advantage they have the chance to make lifestyle modifications required to help reduce the risk in the long term they should try to reach and maintain a healthy weight they should eat well and exercise regularly risk factors for women to develop diabetes mellitus women are at high risk for diabetes if they are overweight that is bmi equal or more than 23 as per indian criteria in addition there have to be presence of one or more additional risk factors such as low physical activity family history of type 2 diabetes mellitus past history of delivery of a baby weighing 4 kg or more past history of gestational diabetes high bp that is 130 by 80 mm of mercury or more high cholesterol levels that is 240 mg per deciliter or more history of polycystic ovarian syndrome risk of cardiovascular disease or prediabetes effect of menopause on diabetes menopause results in hormonal level changes and imbalance and may result in uncontrolled diabetes Women with diabetes are also at risk of developing premature menopause with consequent increase risk of cardiovascular disease. Diabetes mellitus and menopause may team to cause various effects on body including blood sugar level fluctuations, weight gain causing increased need for insulin and anti-oral antidiabetic agents. sleep deprivation can also make it tougher for blood sugar level control increased frequency of urinary tract infections and vaginal infections are also seen i'll be discussing about women and diabetes diabetes can be especially hard on women diabetic women are more likely to have a heart attack at a younger age than women without diabetes risk of heart disease is about four times greater in women with diabetes and they also have worse outcomes after a heart attack also they are at high risk of diabetes related complications like blindness kidney disease and depression diabetes in pregnant women can affect both mother and their unborn children and even cause miscarriage or baby born with birth defects although diabetes affects men and women in equal numbers it affects women differently than in men compared with a man women with diabetes have a higher risk for heart disease which is the most common complication of diabetes they have lower survival rates and poorer outcome and quality of life after heart attack they have a higher risk of blindness which is another complication of diabetes and depression affects women twice as much as men
discuss effect of diabetes on pregnancy. Some women develop diabetes for the first time when they become pregnant. This is called gestational diabetes. Other women have diabetes before they get pregnant. Women with type 1 or type 2 diabetes can have a healthy pregnancy. However, women with diabetes need to plan ahead before they get pregnant. Women who have diabetes before pregnancy need to take certain steps to ensure a safe pregnancy. They should talk to the doctor before planning pregnancy about the steps to be taken to keep the baby healthy. This may include diabetic education program to help them understand their diabetes better and how to control diabetes during pregnancy. They include tight control of blood sugar levels, adhering to proper medications, diet and lifestyle modifications and of course an exercise plan. Pregnant women should know that high blood sugar levels can harm the fetus and can also result in congenital malformations.